As the Megalodon survived to this day, a camera has captured a creature in the Mariana Trench that is suspected of being a monster from prehistoric times. But this is by no means the only disturbing discovery from the deep sea. From headless chickens to carnivorous underwater spirits, today we'll show you what grotesque creatures really lurk in the gaping abyss of the sea. The Abyss of the Seas The deep sea is one of the greatest mysteries of our planet. So far, only 5% of the ocean floor should be explored. Even the surface of the moon has been mapped significantly more extensively. As is well known, the Mariana Trench embodies the absolute ultimate in depth. Located in the western part of the Pacific Ocean, we are dealing with a crescent-shaped crescent that is about 2,550 kilometers long and has an average width of 70 kilometers. In turn, the deepest point of this isolated world is barely 11 kilometers below the surface. Or in other words, if we were to place the 8,848-meter 8 Mount Everest in the Mariana Trench, its summit would still be 2 kilometers below the surface. By its nature, the Mariana Trench is a realm of extremes. This begins with the pressure that prevails in the deepest depths of the ocean. Anyone at the bottom of the deep sea trench is confronted with a water pressure of about 1,070 bar. In other words, a pressure that is over 1,000 times higher than on land. Far from sunlight, the thermometer drops to 1 degree Celsius in places. And speaking of the lack of sunlight, for a long time, researchers were of the opinion that life cannot flourish without light. The grotesque inhabitants of the deep sea, however, successfully overturned this outdated theory. In turn, the deep sea, which begins about 200 meters below the water surface, is actually the largest habitat on Earth. It covers more than 60% of the planet's surface and occupies twice as much space as all land masses combined. The problem? We still have no idea what undiscovered creatures are hiding away from our prying eyes. The creatures we've already been able to track down here merely give us a foretaste of all the gripping secrets that may one day be uncovered. However, the following clip already proves one thing. The inhabitants of the deep sea are so unique and bizarre that they even plunge the proven experts into heated debates. The Monster from the Deep To study the behavior of deep sea sharks, Japanese scientists placed a lure at the bottom of the ocean some time ago. With success, in fact, it did not take long before a sea dweller approached. However, with its enormous appearance, it blew away even the boldest ideas of the researchers. Apparently, the swimming colossus has a dark body, which is adorned by some white spots or furrows. But what got the users excited was the unbelievable size of the predator. If you compare the proportions of the shark with the shapes of the bait cage, you get the realization that the creature is a whopping 18 meters long. But how is that even possible? And what kind of creature are we dealing with here? Well, the most exciting and controversial theory is that the disturbing image shows us a megalodon in the flesh. Contrary to all scientific knowledge, the prehistoric giant has managed to survive to the present day. From the fossil findings so far, it appears that megalodon grew up to 20 meters long making it the largest known shark in the history of the Earth. However, the Colossus died out between 3.6 and 2.6 million years ago and probably preferred warmer ocean regions. Some people, however, are firmly convinced that Megalodon retreated to the deep sea hundreds of thousands of years ago, even if this meant it had to completely change its behavior and anatomy within a very short time in order to adapt to the extreme conditions. The Noise of the Deep Sea To find out what the soundscape of the Mariana Trench is like, scientists place a titanium sheath hydrophone in the deep sea channel. This is a device that converts water sound into an electrical voltage and makes it audible. At first glance, one might assume that the most remote point in the ocean is a place of absolute silence. The experts were therefore all the more amazed when they evaluated the ambient sounds that had been recorded over a period of three weeks. Robert Zayak, the project's lead scientist, stated, In fact, there is a continuous noise there, but from natural and human sources. The noise field in the Challenger Deep 
was dominated by nearby and distant earthquakes, but also by the moaning of baleen whales and the overwhelming noise of a typhoon just passing overhead. However, the noise of shipping, or more specifically, the roar of ship propellers, was also widely audible, he said. New Deep Sea Species At first, the discovery of a new species always seems like a scientific sensation. However, in the case of amphipods, which were tracked down in the Mariana Trench a few years ago and described as a new species in 2020, the discovery is accompanied by a bitter aftertaste. Although the crabs live at depths of 6 to almost 7,000 meters, a piece of microplastic was found in the colon of one individual. Because of this sad circumstance, and to set a sign against the pollution of the oceans, the amphipods received the name Urethenes plasticus. Goblin Shark Why the goblin shark is also known as the nose shark is obvious, because indeed its long flattened snout looks visually like an oversized sniffer. However, the rare deep sea shark still holds many mysteries for us. We have no idea what the details of its distribution range are. What is certain, however, is that the specimens studied so far have been between 3 and 4.5 meters long and have been found at depths of 30 to 1,350 meters. However, a look at the phylogeny of the goblin shark is particularly exciting. Ancient fossil finds show that the shark already existed in its present form 125 million years ago. Megalodicopia hyans The life of the deep sea drives bizarre blossoms. So Megalodicopia hyans looks like the ghost of a mutated snake. In detail, however, we are dealing with the so-called tunicate, which is native to the walls of deep sea canyons and the sea floor. Firmly anchored underground, however, this life form is abundantly different from all other tunicates. Megalocopia hyans is namely a sneaky predator. The fact that the creature is also called the carnivorous plant of the seas is no coincidence. The mouth-like siphon immediately snaps shut when a crustacean or small fish strays into its interior. Once the tunicate has caught a victim, it keeps its trap closed until the meal is fully digested. In addition, the creatures have developed an ingenious reproductive mechanism. Provided there are no other tunicates nearby, they can fertilize their eggs themselves. Headless Chicken Monster No, we didn't make up the following name ourselves. In fact, Enopanaces eximia is also known in unofficial circles as the Headless Chicken Monster. Of course, we are not dealing with a decapitated bird, but with a sea cucumber that can swim. At home in ocean depths of up to 6,000 meters, the species reaches a body length of 6 to 25 centimeters. Equipped with several webbed feet, the body of younger specimens is partially transparent, revealing internal organs. Like many of its deep-sea neighbors, the sea cucumber is capable of generating light on its own. While predatory fish use bioluminescence to attract prey, the sea cucumber's luminosity is likely for self-protection. This is because the chicken monster actually shoots a kind of flare that misleads its enemies. The luminous skid that is shed in the process grows back within a few days. Telescopic Octopus Telescoping octopuses look like sea creatures straight out of a fairy tale. They are only a few centimeters in size and live at depths of up to 2,000 meters. What gives these unique cephalopods their name are their protruding telescopic eyes. The protruding sensory organs offer the octopus an important advantage. They give it a peripheral field of vision, allowing it to easily spot prey and enemies. At only a few centimeters in size, the animal's scale of skin is translucent and extremely flexible. This special texture ensures that the telescopic octopus is barely visible in the dim light of the deep sea. Deep Sea Anglerfish They are probably the prime examples of the fearsome monsters of the deep the deep-sea anglerfishes. However, we must not forget that not all deep-sea anglerfishes are the same. The bottom line is that researchers distinguish between 160 different species here. Found from a depth of 300 meters in all the seas of the world, these surreal creatures are characterized by one thing in particular, the glowing dummy prey on their skulls. The internal structure of these so-called esca is as complex as it is confusing. Here, a multitude of vesicles interlock, 
filled with luminescent bacteria. Complemented by pigments, light conducting structures, reflective tissues and the like, the glowing outgrowth has a magical attraction for unsuspecting prey. In addition, the predators also exhibit extreme sexual dimorphism. Females grow significantly larger than males, while the female representatives of the largest deep-sea predators reach body lengths of up to 1.2 meters, their male contemporaries are 60 times smaller. But this is by no means all. In some genera, the males even fuse with the females. In the course of this so-called parabiosis, the males are henceforth incapable of feeding themselves. Instead, they obtain their nourishment through the bloodstream of the female. The previous record holder counted a whopping eight grown dwarf males. Thank you so much for watching our video all the way to the end. Feel free to leave us a thumbs up and a subscription to support us for free and stay up to date at the same time. Before you take a look at the other videos in the credits, we'd like to ask your opinion. Do you think that the Megalodon survived in the deep sea? And which creatures could still be found in the deepest regions of the world's oceans? We're looking forward to your comments. And with that, we say ciao and see you next time.